Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about BCD adder. BCD stands for binary coded decimal. BCD stands for binary coded decimal. BCD full form binary coded decimal. Binary coded decimal means it varies from 0 to 9. That means in the binary form, four zeros to one zero zero one. This is the maximum limit of the binary coded decimal. If any number is one zero one zero and beyond that, like ten and beyond, above, we cannot consider that number as a BCD number. BCD number means the maximum number is nine. Okay. Suppose if you say binary, binary means zero one. Octal means up to zero to seven. Only eight bits. So, like that BCD binary coded decimal is up to 9. So, like a decimal number. Okay. 0 to 9. Here we are going to discuss an adder which performs the addition between two binary coded decimal numbers. Suppose if you have a doubt, sir, when we are performing uh, the addition between two BCD numbers, the result may be greater than that number. Suppose if you are taking 9 and 9. 9 and 9. Okay, when you perform the addition between 9 and 9, the result is 18, which is not considerable in the range of BCD. So, then we have to do some adjustment again to bring back to the BCD number. I will tell you how. Okay. So, it is used to this particular adder. This adder is used to perform addition of BCD, addition of BCD numbers, a BCD digit can, a BCD digit can have any of 10 possible can have any of 10 possible 4 bit representations. 4 bit representations. Okay. So, the suppose if we have 2 4 bit numbers, suppose if we have two four bit numbers a and b the value of a and b the value of a and b can vary from can vary from 0 which is represented as four zeros to I told you what is the maximum number 9 means 1 double 0 1 because 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 they are conditioning decimal numbers decimal numbers so we are take we are taking a 4 bit bcd adder 4 bit bcd adder so two 4 bit numbers a and b a is of 4 bit size and b is of 4 bit size and we are having one output which is an addition it is also 4 bit output y. When we simply add a and b, when we simply add a and b, then neglect the binary, neglect the binary sum. 
here to get the output here to get the output in bcd we will use bcd adder we will use bcd adder that means normal adder we should not uh, use it as a bcd adder this is different that is different normally how you add two four bit numbers by taking two full uh, four bit full address by taking four bit full address so four full address we write and all the inputs a0 b0 a1 b1 a2 b2 a3 b3 we will apply and we will get sum and carry we don't worry about the binary sum but whereas in this particular bcd adder we don't generally go in that way that is different and this is different because if any result is greater than 9 we should yeah, uh, adjust that okay so for example for example a is equal to a is equal to sum 1000 0, 0, 0. and b is also equal to 1000 0, 0. what do you mean by 1300 it is 8 it is also 8 when you add a and b and uh, remember these two are bcd numbers so when you add a and b what happens the result is 8 plus 8 16 means 1000 0, 0, 0, 0. see 1000 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. it performs normal addition 0 and 1 carry is 1 so whenever carry is generated remember whenever carry is generated or if the result is greater than 9 then we have to add then we have to add 6 to the result add 6 to the result so when we have to add 6 to the result there are two possible conditions one is carry should be 1 another thing is the result some result should be greater than 9 greater than 9 not equal to greater than not equal to okay greater than or equal to that is not correct greater than only okay so when the result is greater than 9 or even if the carry is generated then we have to add 6 to the result so what happens 6 to the result and discard the carry so a plus b is equal to now so if you add 6 to this one result is 6 okay so the possible conditions are the possible conditions are when carry is generated or the result which result sum sum is greater than 9 greater than 9 means 1001 then we have to add we have to add 6 6 means 0 1 1 0 to the result to the result okay then the bcd number will come back so let us see the block diagram of this one block diagram So, the block diagram consists of, it consists of first one, 4 bit binary adder, 4 bit binary adder, but it is for 2 times, 4 bit binary adder we will use 2 times because for first one we have to add, see why we are using 4 bit binary number 2 times, we have to add normal inputs A and B. For addition of two inputs A and B, we need a 4-bit binary adder. Later, we will check whether the result is within the permissible limit, nothing but should not be greater than 9. If it is less than 9 and there is no carry, then the result is okay. Hope you understand. After addition, suppose I am taking uh, 1 and 2. 1 and 2 means 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0. 1 plus 2 is equal to 3, so result is 0, 0, 1, 1. So, everything is okay here. Okay, so during first addition of the binary numbers, we are having less than 9 and there is no carry. So, result is okay, then there is no problem and no need to go for the second binary adder. But, 
if the result is greater than 9 or the carry is generated we have to add 6 to the result again we need we need one more binary adder hope you understand the purpose of second binary adder okay so along with that along with that some basic gates we use to check whether the result is greater than 9 or not okay so 4 bit binary adder first one 4 bit binary adder Four bit binary adder and again one more four bit binary adder four bit binary adder see what are the inputs first for this one original inputs a naught b naught a1 b1 a naught to a3 b naught to b3 so possible condition there may be a generation of carry there may be a generation of carry and here the outputs of some s naught s naught is directly added here s1 S2, S3. So S0, S1, S2, S3. And now we are checking whether the carry is generated or not. One thing is here we have to con here we are considering an R gate. First input of the R gate is the output carry from the first adder because if any carry is generated one then output is one okay so carry out and and operation and gates we are taking two and gates so the first and gate is having the inputs s3 s3 and s2 s3 and s2 because see 1 0 0 1 this is the maximum number beyond this it should not be generated so if the next number is 1 0 1 0 okay from the next number onwards the one may be either here or here listen carefully up to 9 up to 9 there is no one together in these two places and as well as in these two places there is no one together in the first and second places or first and third places so if we have any ones between one and third place one and second place then we can say that the result is greater than nine that's why we are checking whether there is any such condition occurred or not by taking and operation between s3 s2 and s3 s1 okay the remaining are not necessary so the outputs are given to this r gate and if any one of these is one then the output is one and this one should be added like this see the same one is connected two times here six means when the result is greater than nine we are adding six six means zero double one zero so first and last one is zeros so first and last one is zeros so take a ground connection and this is zero double one zero so zero one one zero okay okay zero double one zero now the output is simply if any carry is generated, there is no carry generation. If any carry generated, we can simply discard it and S2, S3, S2, S0, S3, S2, S1, S0. This is the final output. Okay. So, this is the block diagram of the BCD 
adder which can add two BCD numbers. If the result is greater than nine, we have to add six in this way. Okay. So in the next video, I will explain how to program B BCD adder in VHDL. Thank you.